Hello guys, Woohoo here, back with another video, this time around showing off the new class gems that were added in this PTS uh, build. If you want to just check them out yourself, there is the link to the uh, PTS, uh, PTS patch notes down there, or maybe you should watch some of the other videos, well the patch notes video, I'm going to link it up here in a card as well, that is the video from two days ago and you know yesterday i did the lunar lancer video showing that off as well but this video we're just going to talk about the different clash gems that are coming and kind of give some a little bit of feedback to some of the devs as well if they ha happen to watch some of these here because i love the clash gems and i think we're getting so many and it's just great to put some of them out there and give some feedback so with that said, there's not really much more to that. I'm going to put some timestamps so you guys can click on which ones you want to watch. Keep in mind, there's two for the Ice Age. That's why it says Ice Age. There's two. There's not because I... But there's two for the Ice Age. That's kind of a clarification, I guess. But anyways, let's jump into the very first guy. All right, so the first class we got is the Pirate Captain. And we were already on this guy. And what it does is that, I'm just gonna put it over here so you guys can better see it. And what it does is that the base attacks causes your minions to attack the target that you, of course, are attacking. Also applying a debuff, increasing damage ton to it. So the uh, attacking of the minions is not really a problem when you are farming or if you are doing bosses or anything like that. I never thought that this was an issue at all because you do so much damage anyway when you get into the mid game and to the end game that uh, you know your minions turrets just one shot things. So usually they just well maybe they don't gonna shoot the target you have, but if there's only one target, they're still just gonna hit that one target. But it is significant because it does give a debuff that increased damage to uh, you done to it. You know to the enemy it does apply that debuff. So. It is a pretty good gem itself, but the tech or the I guess the the thing with the base attack or targeting is not really an issue. Uh, that's why I'm kind of half and half. But it does make it a little bit better of a boss killer, for example, because uh, yes, there is something with the targeting, but a debuff uh, increases the damage done and so on. So. Um, we'll see what this is going to end up being, but uh, I do. I'm kind of 50-50. That's why I'm not really, hey, we should have this or we shouldn't have this. So I'm kind of up in the air about this one right now. Um, I don't think it's going to do significant stuff for the Pirate Captain, but we'll have to see. We don't know how much the debuff uh, increase is, but it is uh, might be significant. Well, we're just going to have to see when we get to that. So that was the uh, Pirate Captain. So let's move on to the next class. All right, so next up we got the Vanguardian, and the Vanguardian one is a little meh, I would say. It's really good for group play, so what it does is that when you use your Fire Up or Focus uh, Flash, I think it's great that it's both of them, so you don't have, it's not like catering to one of the play styles, but it now it also applies that buff to the two nearby allies when used. And I'm just gonna show you what these two abilities are. This is the uh, Force Flash, that's the one, if I just hit it like that, that's the one that does you know, increase your damage and do AOE around it. So that buff is going to be applied to two other people as well. Don't have to be people you're playing with, but it could be people around you. But um, if you're just running around solo, you don't know if that's not really going to do much for that. And I can also hop into my alt, the other form, the uh, shooting form, right? The shooting form here. And then the fired up is this one. That's the one that increases your damage and also attack speed. So it could be a buff for... Um, people you know if you're doing bosses and stuff like that it could be a thing that's why i'm kind of because you're not always going to kill bosses so are you really want to switch that gem out all the time when you are either doing one or the other but it's probably going to be something if you're doing like deep delves or something like that anything that buffs other people is always great in group play so it is going to have some where uh, some significance to it right it is going to be something where it buffs the people around you so that's going to be a amazing thing for group play so it, again with i did just did the pirate captain one which is kind of meh uh, also in a way but it's just more if you're not in a group this is just a waste to have but you can of course just you know take this uh, take the vanguardian uh, and play it when you are killing leviathans or doing deep delves and stuff like that this is then is this is gonna be amazing but 
why I said it was kind of mad is that it's you you basically have to take this probably out if you are if you're just playing casually sure but if you are uh, hardcore Vanguardian uh, main right you want to take this gem out when you are play uh, you know when you're playing solo and then put it back in when you are playing with some people depending on what kind of other gems you're running and whatever build you else you're doing but uh, other than that you know it doesn't buff the even guarding itself i would i would love to see it you know double the the effect of these for the vanguard itself and just you know this would be the same for the one ship buff then it would be significant could be used for both solo play and also for group play because it would just be buffing yourself much more than that so i would love to see that change to it instead of just having it you know be a buff for somebody else and it's just kind of a uh, a dead gem you would have in there if you're just playing solo as well great if you're doing a group play but that's enough about the uh, vanguardian let's move on to the next class all right so next up we got the one of the ice ages there's two of them so this one has synergy with the other one and i'm also going to put say that when i of course talk about the other one but this one does this that uh big chill summons an ice clash uh, let me actually see. Oh, these are the ice clashes. Okay, I was I was confused on that. Uh, ice clashes on your location. Then the ice clash uh, changes the ground to around you to be ice. Okay, so first of all, the big chill. That's the one. That's the the one that sucks everything inside of you and also uh, do some frostbite damage when frozen and stuff like that. But now it's also going to make the ground ice. And that's going to be significant for the other one we are going to talk about before uh, other we are also going to talk about in the next one as well so the ice clashes is of course the one you use here so i'm going to try to see if actually uh, if you equip this one that ice clashes now do that uh, on themselves or it only comes from this because if there's not a hundred percent uptime on this ice patch then the other one is not going to be as effective so uh first of all let's equip this one and i'm just really quickly going to use an ice clash no nope. these are ice clashes i know they just look like ice clashes but yes these are ice clashes and they are not making ice underneath you uh so it's only from when you use your number one ability right here right and then it makes an ice clash and you see all oh, this is now ice this is now all ice and yeah okay so the cooldown on it is is it reduced or something like that i seem to be uh yeah okay so there is not did that change when i used it let me see or did it remove itself when i no you can keep the ice up okay so there is a probably a uh, hundred percent uptime on this so it does work so that's a good thing uh for the other one but yeah it still sucks everything in but now just a gla ice clash would also do does the damage so when you suck everything in that is gonna make that ice as well uh, underneath you because that's significant for when you do that that's still a bubble oh yeah this is the ice slash and it seems like to be a little bit uh better than than with this one maybe but well uh, but yeah you can have you know, again ice all the time underneath you and it doesn't seem like you are slipping anymore either on the ice it used to be that was not like that but maybe it's different ice than ice is otherwise maybe it's uh, ice age ice is better i guess <laughs> but yeah let's uh, talk about the next gem and that'll makes a lot more sense when we do so as well all right so next up we got the second uh clash gem for the ice age and basically what it does is that if i move it right over here it's a lot easier to see while on ice the ice age gain additional critical hit and critical damage i don't know if this works if you're running around in a permafrost biome i'm not sure there is one right here i will i'll cut the video after i've talked about it and then i'll go to the permafrost and see if i have more stats you can of course i can see my stats right here so i can see if i do get a significant more i can also see how much it actually increases when you do so but that's the synergy of the other gem we just talked about about is that your big chill this one makes ice underneath you and that's going to have 100 percent uptime when you do so so let's first equip this one and then it's going to put that one down and then we're going to quickly switch it over to this one you can see now it's the critical hit uh so we got a lot of critical hit we are wow you saw a lot of that that's 160 percent down to so that's basically double that that is basically double that so we're going to change again see if we can get down the ice switch really quickly and oh i just forgot the stats now it's 100 so it almost again almost double the critical damage I don't know if it just doubles it if it's just a 50 percent increase or uh, what it is maybe if i 
take off a few items here. Uh, I do have some critical damage on that one. I do have some stuff. I'm just going to really quickly take this stuff off. I could have also used the... I'm going to use a flask as well. Uh, so let's get the big chill thing down. So that's that. And then let's move it over to the other one. Uh, so yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like to be double that. Because that's a thousand percent. Let's see... No, it's not. It's not a fifty percent. It's a flat increase. It's a flat increase that does that as well because uh, that was something different. So let me go to the permafrost and actually check this if it actually works. If that's in ice or snow or whatever. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and do so and check it out. All right. So I just went ahead and went into uh, the permafrost uh, biome down here. So I knew there was something down here. So now we're rocking eighty. Uh, 86 damage. Let's see. We are down on something here. Oh, we can see the buff up here as well. There is. It does work. It does work. See, you have the buff. That's not how much you I had before. So it's a buff that goes on. So it's not up all the time. It's not just decrease. It, it does uh, wear off and then it comes back on real quick. So yeah, this does work. So if you're running around in a permafrost biome, you are going to just automatically have this. Uh, what if I'm in the air? Okay, so it's not giving me in the air. So you do have to touch. You do have to touch the ground. It doesn't work when you are in the air. And let's see, does it give it up here? Okay, this is not considered. This is not considered uh, ice. Let's see, this is considered ice. So this ground stuff is considered ice. All right, let's see if it covers us when we are in a dungeon here okay does this is also uh, apparently uh, counters as a as a as a as ice as well so you can see when the if the buff is up there if you see a buff uh, up in this in the top there let me actually go down to the ground again and you can see down we have the buff and we have the extra uh, stats as well so this does work if you want a permafrost biome that would uh, that's actually pretty cool and so we don't have to have this if you are in a permafrost biome. So that will just have it all the time. So if you, you know, want to farm in a permafrost, your ice age is probably going to be your go-to class. So let's move on to the next class. All right, next week time or next class we got is the boomer. So the boomer got a. Let me uh, put it back over here. You guys can see. So your urine, a tr a urine. I think that's how you say it. Triggers additional effect. So this additional effect. I didn't really know what this was, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the other ones that like you can spawn the chickens out of the bomb, or you can like a big bomb, or healing bombs, or cooldown reduction bomb. So the urn is the mysterious urn. I think they should have put in. Uh, that your mysterious urn triggers additional effect because I thought it was this one, but it's just called big bomb. So it's not really a urn. It is just a, a big bomb that spawns yourself some, some chickens. In this case, it's doves because of course of the skin. But if I put this one on and I go down here and I throw down this bomb and see it might have gone two things. Uh, let's see if we can't trigger that one more time. We saw some cards. Uh, so maybe we can see it could be cool if you can get like double chickens from it So we got cards and chickens you saw that we got chickens and cards So this time we got chickens uh, that might be uh, something where you can't get uh, you can't get double chickens if you're lucky like that But this is definitely going to be a must for using this This is definitely going to be an amazing addition to it just because of the additional effect because the effects are so amazing from the urine uh, so yeah, additional effects is just going to be absolutely amazing. Not much to say about it. I just kind of want the wording to be like your mysterious, uh, or, you know, have double effect. That's just what I kind of wanted to be worded as because I, yesterday when I was talking about the, uh, this, I had no idea it was called a urine. I was think it was just called a big bomb basically, but it's called something else. So yeah, uh, additional effects, uh, is what we do have here. So throwing this. Cards and big bombs as well. Very cool. Very amazing. So this is probably going to be a must for the uh, boomer. Uh, except if you are uh, not using your urn that much. Uh, if you're ranged, for example. You know, there's also being that one AOE with the bow and stuff like that. It's just because I've been trying to get a bow on the live server. So I have both a, a sword and a bow for the 
uh, boomer as well. But that was the boomer, let's move on to the next class. All right, so next up we got the Tomb Eraser and basically what this done does, uh, I have it right here, I can just move it over here. So basically your Bone Rage, Tour Rage, I think it's, or Tour Rage, I don't know how to say it, uh, is this one, is the, this one, it's your, this one second ability thingy magic that slowly over time also, tr uh, you know, you do have that passive that spawns the little skeletons, you can call them. And then you have, you know, uh, the ones you can spawn yourself. And with this one, it summons a larger one. And then also a, uh, the large uh, skeleton is going to die. It's going to spawn more of the small ones as well. I'm going to try to see if it works this uh, one time. But if not, then I'm going to put a picture on here. I did try to get it yesterday and I did get the big one. You can see a picture on it as well. I actually also showed it in the a patch notes video as well if you hadn't seen it but i'll include it if i don't get it on the first try because it took me a while actually to get this one so but it is a chance of summoning this big one so you still get the small one but some of the uh, could be a big one so let's see if i can get it no oh no no chance no chance this time of course uh, live on the video but yeah like i said see it on the video uh, see in the picture right there that this is what it's gonna do uh, spawn that big one and then as well uh those are gonna then with that these spawns or dies it's gonna increase the guy as well. I'm really trying to get this to, to spawn, but yeah, it has a chance every time that you have a charge and see here and then, yeah, no such luck, but that's what it does and we can move on to the next class. All right, next up we got the Lunar Lancer and I did talk about this one in uh, you know, the video from yesterday talking about the Lunar Lancer and stuff like that, what it's going to be. So his is that when it falls from the Lunar, uh, when you are in Lunar form, your basic attack has a chance of spawning a meteor. So it's just a little bit of ball that you know drops down. And actually when you are in your Lunar form, that's the ultimate, you also have an ultimate on top of that, which also spawned uh, them as well. I'm not sure if that's included, but it does say it for the base attacks. So um, let me uh, just, uh, you know, go into Lunar Forum and then you guys can see what it does. All right, so now I have my uh, Lunar Forum and I am going to see, show you guys how that one works. So let me, before I go anywhere, I'm just gonna find the enemies. So now I'm in my Lunar Forum and I'm doing this. You can see there was the one that is one of them. Uh, let me use one more. You can see out attack, they throw down the, the bomb. And see if we can't find another one. I'm gonna take it out. Uh, of course, I can't hit this guy. You can see that was the that was the one. Let's take this out. Uh, see if I can't make it before. So yeah, that didn't give it. It, it does say a chance, but it seems like it's pretty much uh, guaranteed to a drop as well. I should have probably also shown it while I was in there, showing the the, the meteors that was falling from when you use that ultimate extra ultimate. Um, but I'll uh, actually uh, try to uh, real quick try to gain up my moon power again so I can show you guys uh, if it actually works uh, if it does the meteors because it's the same meteor that drops from that thing if it is that is pretty awesome uh, to do so as well because they did a, like a lot of rain stuff as well so I'll be back in like a one second all right so now I am back in uh, or back having my form so let's use the ultimate and I'm gonna throw down this spear so, oh, it does still do that. Okay, so I do not have to equip, just letting you guys know that it, this is a feature from it itself, but that's the meteors as well. Uh, basically, that's what's gonna happen when you have your this one as well. So it's gonna be on your base attack on this as well. So I don't think they interact with each other in that way. So you can, I think you can spawn, I hope that you can spawn meteors as well uh, from the base attack as you will from the ultimate as well. So I hope that you can even have even more uh, you know, chance at least to uh, spawn some meteors even on top of each other. That would be awesome, but it's just a, a meteor shower. That would be amazing as well. But anyways, that was the Lunar Lancer. Let's move on to the next class. So next up, we got the Dino Tamer. And the Dino Tamer one is that you now spawn two of your minions instead of one. And I talked about this yesterday as well. The This is kind of an underwhelming one because that the the minions you spawn are not super tanky. They don't do amazing crazy damage. They're not 
terrible, but they're not great either. So let me just actually get out of the way here because that guy is going to be annoying. So let's just jump up here. So, but basically what it does, like I said, it spawns two min instead of uh, one. And Dino Buddy is, of course, your this one. And they also last for 22 seconds. I actually didn't know there was a timer there. So now what it does is that now you throw down and now it spawns two instead. It's, of course, better that you're spawning two. And I can also go into my ultimate and then I can throw down two. It would be great if you could have, with the four minions you could have, because now it's spawning, you know, uh, two from this and two from the, you know, when the ultimate is out. So you can throw down your minions and then go into ultimate form, throw two minions down, then you would have all fours uh, in here instead of just keep having these three as well. So uh, I would love to see a change to that, that you can, uh, of course, you change the minions that they do a little bit better. Uh, performance but also that you now can maybe have four of them that would be amazing so one doesn't uh, like lose uh, one of them basically before the ration is over so you can just yeah keep to have four or keep having four up as well and I, would, I don't know if that's too much of a damage increase but it's definitely uh, better to have I would say have four and that could be implemented in this one as well so yeah that's just what it does increasing two then instead of one so that was the Dino Tamer. Let's move on to the next class. All right, so next up we got the Fae Trickster and this one is a little meh as well, but let, hear me out before you uh, just go and judge it. So basically the Eagle Blast now allows for two hits within two seconds instead of just one. So now you have to take two uh, hits in two seconds to lose one of these damage buffs that you get from this one right and also you already have two of these but now it requires additional hit to gain so as well i think that this should be uh implemented in this one instead uh, of having it uh, right here so taking no damage for two seconds then there is actually a bonus uh, dealt i don't know they kind of seem to be um I don't know, it just kind of seems like to be the same in my sense, because now it requires additional hit to remove that buff. So I don't know if these are just synergized with each other, uh, but I guess we can test that out if I have this and I can see. Uh, let's do it first without. Let's have this and let's have something hit us. So yes, you can see hit and hit and it should taken off the damage boost now it uh, usually this doesn't it show i feel like it should show some kind of uh thing on that so let me put this one on let's go back here or maybe it only shows when it uh, recharges uh let's see okay nothing happens at all okay what if i move this uh, maybe there is something uh, there is a little bit bugged on the server so see it doesn't say any indication of me losing and i don't think it might be something with the skin we can also see if it's something to do with the skin let's go with a just the starter skin if see that's a, a thing let's get this guy to hit us again we can't kill him we just need him yeah so nothing to do with the the skin itself nothing wrong with that but uh that seems kind of weird that it it does that it doesn't show me uh, like usually i get a you get a ring around you that shows you that it has recharged let's see if again no it has nothing to so there is there's some kind of bug with this uh, but um it just seems to be better if it just got implemented in the other ones as well maybe it was supposed to maybe they forgot about this one i don't know uh but it's definitely not named the same thing either this is called big brain and the other one is called maybe i can get some clarification on that we'll see what's gonna happen uh with with that but that was at least the uh, fate trickster we can all now move on to the very last class all right next up we got ourselves the gunslinger and this one is gonna be a little while because i have to show both things right because what it does is that uh, it gives berserker slinger as it says uh, run and gun, that's your ultimate, uh, is now going to increase damage and attack speed, which is amazing, but greatly it reduces the movement speed as well. So this does have some significance to it. So let me use my run and gun. You can see how much I can move around. It's kind of just usually normal movement speed thing, not something crazy or anything like that. So yeah, this is just a regular movement speed, and this is me running, well, 
a little bit slower because I don't have the run and gun on. So let me have the cooldown a reset and we can show you when I have the, how much it actually reduces it because it is actually significant. All right, so now the cooldown is gone. So now I can show you how much it is. So this is my normal more, uh, uh, this movement speed that I'm just walking around. And this is me using my ultimate. It also has apparently just outer shoots. I'm not touching anything right here, but you can see, <laughs> I hope you can see how a little I can move. And this is just, again, my normal movement speed as well. So it just auto attacks when I had that on. So I think that's a little bit of a bug that is just uh, outer shoots. Um, for that, I just wanted to show how greatly the movement speed uh, reduction actually was. So that's something to consider when you are playing. Uh, this is amazing for boss boss killing and such. It's amazing for boss killing, of course. This is absolutely great for boss killing. Uh, but you just have to keep in mind that you're not as mobile. And, you know, if you if you just stand in all the time, it's amazing. So uh, I don't know if the Gunslinger needed this, but it's definitely going to shoot up in popularity for killing things. Uh, if you don't care about the reduction of the movement speed, which you usually don't do if you're just standing there killing leviathans and just doing extra damage. Of course, auto shooting is a little weird, but uh, yeah, that's probably going to get fixed to the end. And then I can show you guys, see, I can run this fast with the without the, uh, you know, the clash gem as it is. And also no auto shooting either. So... Yeah, I think this video is long enough, so I'm going to cut it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out very, very much and super much appreciated. Make sure you check out the other videos that I did, you know, the patch ones and also the Lunar Lancer ones I did in the previous days. They're all on the channel. You can just go there. I probably maybe also linked it in the description with, of course, the patch notes for all of this as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!